Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. If you haven't been over there, definitely check it out sometime. The link is below. So I am back, obviously, with a food shopping haul and a little bit of a household shopping haul, which is right over there on the breakfast nook. So as I take you through everything, I'll try to tell you what everything's for. So, by the way, I, you know, trying to figure out when to get food hauls up is been a little challenging. I put, you know, our daily meals up on Sundays and vlogs up on Mondays, and it's just hard figuring out what day of the week to get these up. But this is going to carry us through for a while. I got um, some ground chicken for a chicken tandoori burger that I want to make. So I got two pounds of the Purdue fresh ground chicken, and we'll make chicken burgers with those. I got a big package of ground chuck, and I got this for meatloaf. But I also have a um, like a pound and a half in the freezer that I will actually use for baked tacos one night. I got a flank steak, or I'm sorry, a flat iron steak that I'm going to cut up in three different pieces and serve that up for dinner one night, kind of based off of the meal we had at TJI Fridays because it was so delicious. One night we're going to be having um, sausage and waffles, banana waffles that is. So I got two of the Swagger Tees sausages. One just doesn't seem to be enough in our house. So I got two. I got this beef sirloin tip roast and I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it up and make beef stew, which is what I originally got it for, or just pop it in the crock pot and maybe make um, like a roast and potatoes. Either which way, I got a roast. Now we have other meals that are happening this week, like the crock pot um, chicken noodle soup. I didn't get around to making that. We also have a fried ravioli dinner one night this week. Um, we have garlic brown sugar chicken that we're, you know, we have the chicken in the freezer for. And um, again, baked tacos. So those are the meals. I was really hungry when I went, and you will be able to tell that by some of the stuff I bought. I bought this triple cream brie, and it's so soft. I mean, oh my gosh. Brie is my favorite kind of cheese, so I just got that. Again, I was starving. Um, I love brie. I got this big bag of shredded mozzarella um, cheese. This is for the um, baked ravioli. And, um, you know, if I don't have that much yellow cheese when it's time to make the baked tacos, some of this will go on the baked tacos as well. Speaking of the baked tacos, I got one of the stand and stuff taco. Well, I didn't mean to get the kids. Um, whatever. I just meant to get the shells. Um, I didn't read very well in the store, did I? These are great for baked tacos. They hold their shape, and I really like them, so I got those. I've been running out of lunches, and I know that sounds weird, but we haven't had a ton of leftovers, and I've gotten kind of tired of lunch meat. So, I got a few different things for lunches. Um, I got this PF Change General Chang's chicken, and I got two of the microwavable steamed jasmine rice bowls. So, I got those, and I can eat it for two days, maybe for lunch. Um, I just needed something. I got some frozen corn. I also got, sorry, some frozen green peas. And these are just, you know, for sides and such. Over here, I got some of, of the Kraft Deli Deluxe cheese. I love this because there's no paper in between the cheeses. I also got the Vermont cheddar cheese. If you guys have been watching my hauls for a little while, Jackson is in love with this cheese, so I got another one. I went ahead and got the Boar's Head Smoked Turkey Breast. Now, we still have quite a bit of lunch meat, so I didn't want to get any, but I do like turkey, and we don't have any of that in the refrigerator, so I got some. I got some of the Harvest Farms Organic Eggs, and, you know, I think it's important to get a better egg. Bread-wise, I got, and I always turn my bread wrong, I got some of the Nature's Own White Wheat. It's the healthy white. It's what my family prefers. I also got some of these Mediterranean um, pita pockets, which is what our burgers are going to go into, those tandoori burgers. So I got that, and I'll share that recipe with you guys. I got some pre-made garlic bread to go with the ravioli one night. Um, I also got some mint. I don't remember. I think that is for the sauce for the tandoori. I got some green um, onions. I also got a cucumber. Um, back here, 
I got one bag of the Klondike Rose potatoes. We haven't been eating as many potatoes, and I think that's healthier, obviously. So I just got a small bag. I got some of the uh, minced garlic just to help myself out a little bit. Um, over here, I also got two red onions for different recipes. I got two Meyer or three Meyer lemons. I got some more tomatoes because I was running out, and I just got these little, and that's blood under my nail, by the way. It got bent back. I just got one of these little sweet um, tomato little cherries. I hurt my nail um, last night. I got another one, well, this is the one I repurchased, It's just the Mrs. Dash Table Blends in the Roasted Garlic and Herb, and we liked this so much, we ran out, I got another one, it is salt free, and I also got the savory, so I'm excited to try that as well. I got two beef raviolis by Chef Boyardee, just to have in the pantry, again, I need some, some lunch stuff, uh, and that's not super healthy, I know that, I'm not trying to be that healthy. I got some whole baby carrots. These, this Leisure brand is my favorite for carrots, especially canned carrots. They're they're really really good. I got one large Allen's um, seasoned green beans, and that's just again for a side if I need it. And I got some bananas for those banana waffles and whatever you know whenever we want one. I got some more of the Smart Classic crinkle fries, and I think I'm going to have these with the tandoori chicken burgers. I got um, some finely chopped tomatoes from Pummy, and um, I like that brand. I'm not sure what I got those for. I wasn't sure if I needed more ranch, so I just picked up a little one um, while I was there. We needed more ketchup, and I got the all-natural. I got some sugar. I got Scott some ice cream. You guys know I don't eat hardly any ice cream ever, and really neither does Jackson. But Scott eats some every night. This time I got him the Briars Girl Scout Thin Mints. Hopefully he likes it. I got two of the Testino party pizzas. I know I should be making my own. I just haven't done it yet. I got two just to have in the freezer and two Stouffer meals. One in roast turkey and one in bourbon steak. Like I said, I just, I'm running out of lunch stuff and I should have a big salad or something. Sometimes I want something more substantial. I got a bag of the chili cheese Fritos for the boys. I got some chicken salad and I did open this up as soon as I got home and made me a sandwich. I was starving. I got Scott some seafood salad. He likes this one. It's salads of the sea and he eats, he eats it. Um, I did want something with sugar and I know you guys are probably going to say you got tons of sugar. Well, I thought these looked good and I got them and they are the Mrs. Debbie uh, little Debbie fancy cakes Got Mountain Dew for Scott and myself. I'm trying to limit myself on it though. I got Jackson four of the green Gatorades I got a can of biscuits to excuse me to go with the beef stew or roast I got some Sunny D for Jackson as well. I also got another Deer Park water I got some of the Harvest Farms organic milk. I got some Hawaiian punch because I we just seem like we need some drinks and Every once in a while, I like some of that Hawaiian punch. It's not something I drink a lot, but every once in a while. So, that is what I got food-wise. This time, I really do not think I left anything out. And sometimes I do that, and I don't mean to. Um, but I got all of this, um, you know, for the next week, week and a half. We definitely won't eat all of this in one week. If we did, we'd be 300 pounds. But, um, you know, we kind of snack on it, and um, it's interesting to see which items the boys eat up first. It's not always the sweet stuff like the fancy cakes. Sometimes it's healthy stuff and sometimes it's the bananas and you know, sometimes it's um, the eggs. It, you never really know what they're going to you know, devour first. So that's our food from this week that I bought and now I'll show you the household stuff. Okay, so Gabby's up in the chair. This is the household stuff that I got. I went to my local Ingalls and I picked up a few things. To start off, everybody probably who watches knows that we are trying to get our golden retriever to lose some weight. All these hips and elbows and legs. So he's been on a lot of grain free food, but I know he's getting bored of it. He's used to having tan and I feel bad. So I got this fresh pet. It, it was a little more expensive. It's got added vitamins and minerals made with 100% fresh chicken, no artificial uh, flavors. It's grain free, which I like. Perfect for seniors and perfect for weight loss. Um, it's got seven ounces of peas and rich pro protein rich lentils. 
three superfoods with essential vitamins and minerals. So I thought maybe I could switch it up, like give him the kind that he's used to for like breakfast and give him something different for dinner. So just trying it out. Also for Cooper, I got him some snacks and I got these Happy Hips for Hip and Joint Wellness Duck Strips. Again, these were kind of expensive. I think they were like $12. Um, I don't think there's any grain in them. Yeah, no grain, no gluten, no corn, no wheat or soy. And um, I hope he likes those, but I got those for him. For the kitty cats, I just grabbed one bag of the Fancy Feast. They don't have to lose weight, and they are finicky and picky, so I just got them something different this time. Now, speaking of the kitty cats, you guys probably know if you've been watching my hauls for any period of time that I have been using paper plates to feed them. I finally decided I would just suck it up. I went ahead and got four of these little um, dishes, and they have the no slip on the back. Love that. I thought about using a marker and or like a Sharpie and writing each cat's name in, but I guess it doesn't really matter. But we'll have to wash these a lot more, obviously, but I got those for the kitty cats. And I love finding them at my local Ingles. Over here, I got some of these American flag stickers because I love, you know, watching the presidential debates and such. So I thought those would be fun for my planner. You guys know how I love my birds outside. I mean, I really love them. And I went ahead and got them some of the Pennygan Premium um, Select Brand Bird Food for Cardinals, Chickadees, and Purple Finches. I don't think it matters. I think they'll all eat it. Um, and I got this High Energy Wild Bird Feed Suit. And the same for the Woodpecker Tree. So I got those, and I'll be taking those outside or having Scott do that tonight. I got a new dish brush. This one is the Dawn, and um, I decided I would try it out. I like one that's almost made for the grill because I like it to be, like, super strong. Um, the bristles to be kind of hard, but I got this one just to try out. While I was at Ingles, I picked up some of the Method of um, laundry detergent. This is the free and clear one and I like it. So I really don't need laundry soap right this minute, but I will here at the end of the week. So I went ahead and got one. I got another one of my Downy Fresh Protect in wash odor shields. This stuff is phenomenal. I probably should have gotten two. I picked up another one of the Mrs. Meyer Clean Days Geranium Candles. I have the lavender right now. The burn time is amazing on these, and I absolutely love them. So I picked up another one, and I also picked up the Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day Geranium Dish Soap, and I love their dish soap. Um, last but not least, I picked up a two-pack of the Bounty Paper Towels. And that is it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this haul. Um, again, I'm sorry about the wonkiness of the days. I don't really know what day to put these up except, you know, when it's when it's convenient and possible. Um, but again, you can check out my blog at kjaggers.com if you want to see more. There's lots of information and pictures and all kinds of stuff over there in case you're interested. If you enjoyed these hauls, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to get subscribed. And oddly enough, this time, everything fit in one cart, so I was able to get it. And again, I didn't get, you know, really big stuff. I did that in the last haul. So, um, thanks again. I will see you soon. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. Bye! Don't forget, you can totally follow me on Instagram, where I post daily pictures. I love getting to know you in the comments, and I love seeing your pictures, and it's such a fun way to interact. You can find me under K Jaggers. That link is below. You can also check out our fan page on Facebook. I share our daily blog post here, and there's an Instagram feed button where you can check out our Instagram pictures here. You can also enter giveaways from here. You can leave me messages. You can chat with me through the comments. I love it. But better yet, you can always go to my blog at kjaggers.com. There's a ton of blog posts, some from way, way back all the way to current. You can follow along in lots of different ways. There's tons of links, tons of information here. It's my home away from home. I love my blog and I've had it for a very long time. I love that you guys interact with with me through the comments so be sure to say hi let me know what you thought of the video and don't forget to follow along all the links are below thanks again for watching